Hey everyone, today I'm assembling a 4 LED flashing light kit. This is a great beginner project for learning how to solder and understanding basic transistor circuits. I'll show you step by step to assemble the kit. This is the PCB or board. And open the box and see the components four resistors two of them are 47 kilo ohm And two of them are 180 ohm. Four LEDs, green and red. Two capacitors, 100 microfarad. and two transistors I use this holder PCB holder it's very good for soldering I install the board and start for soldering with resistors this circuit is a simple, stable multivibrator that makes the LEDs flash alternatively. We always start with the lowest profile components, resistors first, then the capacitors, transistors go in the correct orientation, so follow the PCB marking. Resistor, resistors uh, don't have polarity. But LEDs, uh, transistors, uh, capacitors have a polarity. When the resistor is leg for its position, for the seven kilo resistor, This is the soldering flux for soldering better. Apply soldering flux on a pad on PCB. Use a small amount of flux and this is soldering wire.
Okay, my soldiering iron is T6 uh, T3602. It's very good, so good. Uh, keep the soldiering tip clean. Use a small amount of soldier. And a good joint should look shiny and solid. It's very easy. This electronics kit is easy too. And it's, it's very good practice for beginners. Now with the wire cutter or side cutter, uh, cut the legs. And next, the capacitors. Pay attention to the polarity of the capacitors. The positive leg is um, longer than the negative leg. apply some apply a bit uh, soldier flux and with the soldier wire I install the component on the PCB This joint uh, looks solid and shiny. That's a good soldier joint. And cut the legs. And next, transistors, pay attention to the polarity. And um, mark it on the PCB. In this circuit, transistors uh, 
like switches Next, LEDs. The LEDs like transistors and capacitors uh, have polarity. Pay attention to the polarity of them. Cathode and anode. The legs of the LEDs. Cathode is smaller leg than anode. It's better use alcohol propyl for cleaning the soldier and the flux after finishing the job. The smell of the flux and the lead, both of them are not good because of the material of them. Be careful of the smelling, it's not very good for your body. It's better to use a fan for removing the smell I'm 
cut the legs. This is the battery connector or battery socket for power supply. Installing on the port or two wires are enough for power supply. And it's finished. Let's test the circuit to see if everything works correctly. I hope. <laughs> With the 9 volts power supply. I'll shake it. 3, 2, 1. And yes. The LEDs are blinking as expected. The circuit is powered and stable. Everything functions properly. Assembly successful. It's beautiful. Thank you everyone, I hope this video is helpful for you, if you like it, please subscribe my channel and thank you for watching until end.